All right, we're we're on air. Um, so this is going to be. <laughs> I've I've made some mistakes on this pre lab too. Um, that if 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 you were new, to, if you're one of my two ten students, just said, "Oh, he made a mistake." Here's here's what the right answer would be, and would have emailed me. If you're brand new to this stuff, you you don't have that confidence. So I get why this might have caused some issues. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make. And, and this has been helpful with my 130 classes. I'll make like and, and put these in a, um, uh, uh, email to you all. Um, and, uh, there'll be short little YouTube videos that you can follow. And, and I'll also include, um, the paper that we're writing on, you know, so first of all, first of all, let's, so let's go ahead and just do problems. So what I have here is let's look at. We're going to look at problems six and eight first, okay? Because they're related to each other. And um, eight was, I, I wrote it wrong. I was probably working too late at night trying to get it done. Trying to, I should never hurry. It's always better to give, it, give you something that's correct and late than hurry and try and go, oh, look at me. I did it on time so that we're ready after the thing. So let's look at uh, problem six because... Um, I made a mistake on that, and I'll show you what it is. And some of you did it correctly and are like, what's going on here? All right, so let's take a peek at it. Um, so let's preview. So let's just go on, because I think everyone was fine until they got to problem six. And then using the problem, I the same problem, I raised a 20 kilogram, 1.5 uh, meters off the ground. How much work did I do? Okay, well, first of all, it's it, the, the force times distance. The force is going to be, um, so on this, so on problem six, I've got force times distance is equal to the work. And the force is going to be mg, because i got to overcome the, the force of gravity. Okay? And so the mass of the, so is 20 times 9.8 meters per second squared. That's the force. And then I raised it um, times 1.5 meters. And that'll be your, your total work done. For some reason, I put in 194 to 197 is the correct answer. That's not, I, I, that, I fat fingered it. It's supposed to be 294 <laughs> or, or 291 to, to 297 or something. Because the answer is, is like around 294. All right. One of your classmates got it right, and, and he probably said, like, oh, I hope he catches this. And I did. Um, and so, in fact, a couple of your classmates have already gotten it and got it right. And then problem number eight, I, I changed it, and, and um, I've some of you have already graded and, and have given you credit for this because I didn't add this part here. Because it's the same question as problem six. And some of you that are new to this are going, well, I didn't get problem six. Now he's going to punish me twice. You're right. That's not right. Okay. Um, and what I meant is after I'm raising this, I'm just holding it still. How much mechanical work am I doing if I'm just, if everything's holding still? Right. None. Okay. So we got through the first two. Let's look at these next four. So let's look at 14, 15, and 16 kind of as a group, then we'll look at problem 20. All right? So we'll go ahead and stop the recording here. I always forget how to do that. Oh, yeah.